So this time I got two 3D printers from any cubic. One is FDM and the other is SLA. I know many of you may not know that much about 3D printing and probably in many people's mind, 3D printers are still an expensive and very complicated product to use. For a 10 hour print, it might take the same amount of time to set everything up and debug. But the truth is that nowadays, they are very simple and easy to use consumer products. In this video, I would like to share with you how I use both machines. First, let's talk about this Anycubic Cobra 3 Combo. It's a FDM printer. It is very easy to understand the principle. The print head melts the filament and stacks them layer by layer. This makes it the most popular type of printer on the market. Anyway, let's unbox it. The Anycubic Cobra 3 comes in a very large cardboard box filled with a lot of protection material. After removing these material, you can see the printer right there, the multicolor engine, and some accessories. The printer was pre-installed and calibrated before it left the factory. The only thing I had to do was install the print head screen, then connect the cable and tube. It took me about an hour and a half to complete the process. The installation experience was pretty good and the tools and accessories were labeled. My only complaint is that the number of screws is just about right. I would like to have some extra just in case I lost some. Once the installation was complete, it was time to tune the machine by the guide. It was basically automated anyway, and that is why I love it. Now that the machine is ready, but we still need two more things, filaments and models. I use a PLA filament. PLA is a plant-based material that is very easy to use in practice and has very low toxicity in the printing process. So this can be a good choice for average consumers. If you want to use other filaments, you can also look up more info on the Anycubic Wiki. The models for printing are easy as I think. You can download 3D models from any Cubic's modeling community or third-party modeling sites. It's ready to print once those models be imported into the software. And of course, I can do more thanks to Cobra 3 Combo's multi-color support. For example, I can customize the model's colors very easily. After transferring the model to the printer over the network, the little screen shows the model is being printed and some parameters of it. Once the machine is up and running, all I have to do is wait. Sometimes the larger models can take up to 10 hours to print. I can check the working status of the mobile app. And when there's a malfunction, it stops automatically and pushes a message to my phone. I'm sorry I can't show you this feature as it hasn't failed in the time I've been using it. Now let's check the final products of our Kitten and Octopus. I printed them using a 0.2mm layer height and the surface is very smooth. Of course, I also printed some other stuff like this uh, Apple Watch charging stand, which works perfectly with my charger. And this Halloween pumpkin, which I now use to store my SD cards. And this dragon, really, you can see the scales are so nicely done. This multicolor engine is actually very interesting. It has three functions. One is a multicolor print, which I demonstrated earlier. And if you use the same color filament, it can get to the next row automatically when the last one ran out. Of course, the most important thing is that it can dry the material, which is very useful for me as I live in a high humidity area. This SLA printer is from the Anycubic Photon Mono N7 Pro. Many of you may have heard of or used Anycubic's SLA machines. They are one of the best selling machines on the market. This machine creates a model by shining a light source through a liquid resin to harden it and curing it layer by layer. The accuracy of the print is determined by the screen that emits the light source. This M7 Pro has a 14K resolution screen. Yes, that is a 13320 by 5120. You can see how sharp and detailed these models are. This machine is particularly well suited for printing figures. The installation of this machine is even easier. You don't even need any tools for the whole installation process. Now it's done. Unlike the simplicity and the convenience of the installation, there are a few things you need to be aware of before you use it. First of all, almost all resins are toxic and have a nasty odor when you print them. So you need to protect yourself well and make sure the ventilation is good before printing them. Pour in the resin and as before, find a model, slice it and send it to the printer. After the model is printed out, it needs to be cleaned with 95% alcohol and then fully cured either with a UV light or simply sunlight. As for the print quality, I can't pick any flaws. The surface is smooth and the details of the model are fine. As I said before, this machine is just too good for printing figures. The resin and alcohol can be reused after the print is finished, but it is a bit of an inconvenience to use this machine compared to the FDM. 
but there's a no substitute for this machine as the quality of the print was a pleasant surprise for me. All right, that's my experience with both printers and I'm impressed with the excellent print quality and ease of use of these printers. If you are interested in these two machines, you can click on the links below to learn more. I'm Will Punk from China. See you soon.